Welcome Aries, I'm back y'all. It has been a while, it has been a good while since I have communicated and done any readings with the Aries, with anybody. <laughs> All right, so let's talk guys. This is going to be a love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter, all those placements. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, you can utilize this video. All right, so let's get a love message for Aries, please, for the month of August. Ooh, all right, we got soulmates. Attraction. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Unrequited love. All right. Okay, so it looks like some of you could be looking at the past. Okay, we got past life relationship here at the bottom of the deck. All right, so we got deception and codependency. So there's been some deception here with a person from the past. Maybe you found out that this person wasn't very honest or they got some sneaky ways about them. Okay, this person could be a Capricorn. We got codependency here. It's kind of definitely reminds me of the devil card and tarot. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn, but the situation is just extremely toxic. Okay, it's too codependent. Um, someone could possibly have some type of addiction. You could have been married to this person. We got wedding here. You may have children together. Or you just have known each other for a long time, been together for a long time. And maybe some of you had children with this person. So this could be a baby mother, baby father. Okay, but some of you are definitely, I feel like y'all are feeling like the situation is just not balanced. It's just not for you anymore. I feel like, however, the attraction, you may be still have some type of attraction to this person. You may... Uh, have attraction because you felt like this person was your was going to be your soulmate okay you feel like this person is your soulmate or you feel like they were there it goes again past life relationship just jumped out and for sure for sure you guys have freed yourself okay you freed yourself from this situation because i really do feel like this situation was toxic okay a lot of you guys it may have been draining your finances okay or some of y'all are just deciding to hey look i'm going to focus on my career yeah see some of y'all are just letting go of control issues you're letting go of trying to control the situation okay tell me more wedding yeah so like i said some of you may have been married to this person or you were planning to get married um something like that yeah see so you got this could be the one so definitely, I feel like this could have a lot to do with an ex, someone from your past, someone who you may be separated from that you thought was going to be your soulmate and you thought that, you know, things were going to finally go to the next level or some of you have already been in a commitment with this person, um, but come to find out the situation was just unrequited, okay? So let's get the tarot and let's see what additional messages we can get. Give me a message for my Aries, please, for August. Give me a message for Aries for August, please. All right, we're going to stop it right here. All right, so we got the Death Card, the Empress. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, a Libra, or Taurus, or Cancer. I feel like you may feel like there's no growth here in this situation. Like, like for some of you, like I said, this could be like a baby mother, baby father situation, or a husband and wife. Um, but I'm getting like, there's no progression. There's no growth in this situation. You feel like things should have been progressed a whole lot more than what it is at this point. Like you feel like things could have supposed to be further than what they were. Okay. 
I feel like you're investigating. You're finding out some clues, the truth about this person. You may have found out that this person, um, there's a Gemini possibly or a Virgo or a Leo. But I'm getting like your intuition is telling you um, that you uh, are going to find out. Um, this person could have a choice between two people. Okay, the lovers here is a decision possibly between two people. And I feel like you found out that truth already because we got the world card here and the six of swords. So you're close, you've closed that chapter and you moved on. Okay. During I feel like this situation really had you in your head. Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords definitely, you know, had you in a place of contemplating, overthinking. So maybe you decided to walk away. This person could have been a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Or this person could have been very, you know, caring, loving, um, kind of, you know, good with emotions. Um, and that captured your attention about this person. But I feel like this person may be, you know, self-centered at times, manipulative, okay, and this surprised you, okay? This really surprised you. All right, so let's see what we got to say about this. Three of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Seven of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, King of Wands, and the Moon. Lots of cups here. So, for sure, for sure, you guys could really, 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 really be tapping into your emotions right now. Um, or some of you are dealing definitely with a water sign. I feel like right now, I'm getting like you are feeling heartbroken um, over this separation or split. Okay. Tell me more about this three of swords. Somebody has some options. Yeah, five of swords. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a bad split, a bad breakup, okay? A judgment call was made, okay? Somebody was coming back and forth all the time, playing, not being serious, involving you um, and putting you in messed up situations. Why is the seven of wands here? strength card you're having to be strong okay this is a test of your strength for sure for sure and you are it's like somebody's testing your your strength your willpower i feel like you put up with this for a long time i feel like you put up with this for a long time why is the seven of cups here six of wands Okay, so now you're at a place where you're trying to make the best decision for you. Okay, you're, you're going to make the best decision for you. Why is the Nine of Cups here? I feel like you want to beat somebody's ass. But I feel like um, you've already decided, you know, to walk away from this situation. This is your energy. I feel like you've walked away so you can heal. Okay, so the healing st starts as soon as you walk away from this situation because we got the nine of cups energy here like you are going to be focused on yourself and what's best for you and i feel like you're going you're plan making plans on making the right decision even though this was an unfortunate situation i feel like you get you are getting ready to show this person what you what you're really made of okay like they don't even know what they're really in for okay now the past energy is knight of cups there's lots of cups here. I feel like your intuition was telling you about this person. Maybe that this person was in already in a connection, but you weren't sure or there's some uncertainty on whether or not if someone is married or whether or not somebody is already in some type of commitment. This person may have may ask you for money all the time, ask you to help like support them all the time. 
This person may have been promising you that they were going to be a changed man, changed woman, but really this person gave you the run around, knight of wands and a double. And they actually stabbed you in the back and betrayed you. They tried their best to hold on to you, um, to find a way to keep you coming back. Um, but I feel like maybe you stopped answering their calls so you could heal. Someone possibly keeps popping up or constantly calling, calling. I'm hearing calling back to back. Someone could have got blocked from calling someone's phone. You may have blocked this person um, until you figure out your next move. So it looks like in the past, you were trying to find out which direction that you were going to take. Now you're already in the direction of, yeah, it hurts, but I'm going to make the best decision for me right now. It's time for me to it's time for me to boss up, okay? And, I, and what I want to do is walk away from this situation because it's no longer serving me. Now, we got Queen of Cups here in the future energy. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Chariot. You could be dealing with a cancer. But I'm getting, like, being emotionally stable and pressing forward. I love this energy, okay? Now, we got the King of Swords here. I feel like you're going to take a no-nonsense approach when it comes to this situation. You've already found out that this person is a liar, a sneak, a cheat, okay? I feel like, yeah, there was a separation here. We got the... Someone lied and possibly said that they were separated or lied and said that they were divorced or getting a divorce or something like that. But I just feel like you aren't going for that anymore. Why is the chariot here? The ace of pentacles, yeah. There, there's definitely progression moving ahead. Moving ahead. Like, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of progression. There's forward movement. Um, I'm getting learning new things, following your intuition. I feel like you're going to definitely be following your intuition because you don't want to make the same mistake again. So you're definitely headed towards, you're, you're on the right path. Okay, now we got the two of cups on how you feel right now and the eight of swords. I feel like you're tired. You want a break. You want out of this situation. You're tired of waiting for the truth to be revealed about this person. I feel like you already went and did your research on this person. I feel like you may have, you may have stuck on this situation or this person for a while, but yeah, it's like you're finding a way out. Okay, this situation, you're realizing that it's a burden. Okay, so it's it's not even needed to hold on to anymore. This person that you're dealing with is not a source energy. They're extremely childish. Um, they're very playful and immature. They're giving me, yeah, see, all of their energy is childlike energy. Knight of swords, sun, knight of wands. Like, this person is very child, childish. Okay, this person plays. All they do is play. They play all day. They don't take nothing serious. Yeah, all of this energy, three of cups, all of this energy, like hanging out, bars, clubs, drinking, um, just being social. Like this person is that you're dealing with is really like out there. They're out there. All right. Now, in your hopes and fears, we got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I feel like you may enjoy this person this person could be very handsome very outgoing very fun but i feel like you're learning and understanding that this relationship is toxic okay it's a toxic cycle for sure for sure it's a toxic cycle that you you know need to take proper steps in getting out of focus on your finances and your career Okay, that looks like it's going to be prosperous for you as well as, you know, how you present yourself, your looks, okay, your walk, your talk, your stride, whatever. This Queen of Wands energy is here, okay? Focus on your money and bettering yourself, okay? Because this person over here is extremely immature. They're giving me little childish little vibes. I don't really like that energy. Now, the outcome is Moon, okay? You could be dealing with a Pisces. Oh, yeah, see, something that's in the dark, ooh, finally comes out. Okay, we got the tower here. Someone could be using magic as well. 
especially when I see the magician and the tower and the moon, especially magician and the moon gives me, I'm getting somebody could be doing love spells. Okay. I'm not sure if this is you doing the love spells. I'm not sure if it's them doing love spells, but somebody is definitely doing some love spells here. This looks like the outcome. Somebody's going to be trying to work some magic over here. Okay. Love magic. Okay. We got the moon, the tower, the magician, the lovers. Okay. So somebody's doing some love, casting some love spells. Okay. Look at this to get somebody to marry them. Or, or to get someone to marry them or to find a wealthy man, okay? Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Hierophant, an older male, okay? Someone who's established, someone who has, you know, morals, they're traditional, um, they have a lot of money in the bank. Like, I'm definitely getting somebody here is casting love spells, okay? It looks like... I'm not sure who this is. It could be you or them, but I'm getting somebody's getting ready to manifest like a sugar daddy or a sugar mama, somebody who is very well off, somebody who is marriage material, okay? Somebody's putting that out into the universe, okay? That's definitely what I'm getting for sure, for sure. There's like a, a mess with this situation, and I feel like you, you're turning your back on this situation, and you're putting efforts elsewhere, okay? efforts elsewhere all right so that's the message that i have for my aries if this message resonated with you guys be sure to leave me a thumbs up as well guys like share and uh comment below all right until next time i'm gonna chat with y'all later ciao